See, that's what I'm talking about. I got into the restaurant business and was selling all my gear. And I put an ad in the paper. I get a call from Pittsburgh. This guy comes down, tries out my guitar. While he's trying out my guitar, he's blowing me away. And he said, why'd you quit? And I said, because I couldn't find guys like you. He said, well, if you ever want to start a band again, call me. And I said, OK. So I went back into the restaurant, and I closed up, and I said, Man, I am so out of here, it's unreal. And I called him up, and then there was two. We went up to Ohio to audition a drummer who was great. He didn't, he didn't make it. But in walked out at the audition. And I said, after 30 seconds, I said, OK, now there's three. So we put a band together with a drummer. In the first night of the first gig, he put four quaaludes in a beer and got so loaded that he couldn't even count to four without having to stop and phone it in and find out why. So Brian kept telling me, I know a guy. And I kept saying, oh, but maybe, maybe, maybe. But after this guy, I called Brian and I said, listen, remember that guy you was talking about? Give him a call. 
Ronnie came in. Within 30 seconds, he got the gig. Brian Bassett, Alan Wentz, Ronnie Beidel. We put a band together, and six months later, I wrote Play That Funky Music. It was a magic moment. So the moral of the story is, it thrust it wasn't easy. Changing around. so much better. Are you old people getting tired yet? Are you getting tired yet? Are you sure? Okay, then we're gonna keep on going for a little.